Welcome to Rogue Dungeon, another one, just what the world needed, another one of these giant big box campaign games that nobody's ever going to be able to get through all of the content for. Just kidding. All right, look at the size of this nice little box right here. I'm very excited to get into this. This is the second edition of Rogue Dungeon. Let's pop up the Board Game Geek site right here so we can see what we're looking at. Now, the original version here, I don't even remember where you could buy this. I don't know if they published it or if it was like a Game Crafter type thing or what, but uh, I believe it's just gone now because they did a Kickstarter for the second edition here and it finally arrived. So let's get into this box and see what we have. Now, I've, I remember, and I'm so bad at this, I never pay attention to the Kickstarter stuff, the emails, I ignore everything, I pay the money, I put in my address, and then I forget all about it until one day it just shows up and I'm all kinds of excited, and I, that usually means I miss out on all the, the fancy details that everybody's excited about, like new artwork and everything, and I believe that that might have been part of this as well, like a complete uh, graphical overhaul, and I believe that uh, this also has support for three players, whereas before I think you had to have a three player expansion. This does save one to three players on the side here. So let's finally take a look at Rogue Dungeon. Another plus of it being a Kickstarter, a crowdfunded campaign, is that it was probably more affordable than however it was published previously. If it was a very small print run or if it was a print on demand service, you know, that you would get from um, the Game Crafter or something like that, those are usually rather expensive. So this was something I was greatly looking forward to. And let me tell you, if there was ever a game that just came right out and said, here's a title tailor-made for exactly what you're looking for. It's Rogue Dungeon, right? I mean, let's just be honest here. Uh, it's only 15, 16, including the back. Okay, uh, you know, that's that's a nice-sized rule book. It's not, you know, huge. That's my normal human-sized hand, I promise. And, you know, it's, it's not one of these, like, 60-page monstrosities. This looks very, very doable, right? Something that you could whip out, play every night, one dungeon or what have you, right? Instead of having to make plans to do level one out of 150 of a campaign game or something that never comes to pass. I, I, you know, campaign games are fantastic. They have their place, absolutely. But I really do like me just a quick, you know, one and done. Let's get, you know, two, two floors of a dungeon done and they're random, stuff like that. So there's our nice little manual. We have some very... Very small little chits here. That's that's perfect though. Like perfect size for what we're going to be using these for. They're very. They're, they almost look like smaller than what I would think of uh, like war game pieces. Oh, the backs are different as well. Okay. All right. These are these are like it looks like you've been you know put to sleep and this is webbed perhaps. Cool. All right. And the only way I the only reason I even heard of this game was a long time ago. I watched a video on the Dungeon Dive where Daniel talked about this game at the time the original version. I'm sure by now he's got his hands on this second edition that everybody else has by now, I'm certain. But I I had to do an unboxing because I want to learn the rules and I've got this weird problem now where I like to, you know, unbox everything here first and so I can't go ahead and read the rules. Now I do believe the manual is online on Board Game Geek the PDF. And one card has a misprint on it or something. So there is that floating around out there as well. I don't even know what I'm looking at here now. So wait a second. I don't remember if the game originally had maps like this. Like in the first version, this says B01 and B02 on the back side here. Maybe they're just big versions of Dungeons. I, I think I remember, I remember seeing something that looked a little bit more like that yeah that oh is it just in the back of all of them look at me all right <laughs> i do feel like i remember seeing this before in the video that it's been i feel like years since i watched daniel's video so that's cool all right i thought for some reason they were put together with with uh cards or something i really don't remember now it's been so long but this looks like exactly the kind of thing that i would play so i'm super pumped to get uh into this now and there are a mess of cards here which which, uh, ooh, and dies. Oh, yes, and and this I love. Wooden meeples, screen-printed stuff on them is awesome to me for some reason. I don't know why. I just really like it. I, I prefer, I, I really think I prefer good ones uh, over minis most of the time, so I'm excited to see that in there, too. That was probably a well-known thing that was, you know, announced in the Kickstarter in the early days. Here we have... Looks like three D10s, and one of them's green, obviously, and a brown D6 looks standard. Yep, okay. All right. All right. Who doesn't have a bunch of dice laying around? And the rest of this, oh, I can tell you already what my problem is going to be. Take a look at that box. Unfortunately, this is not going to support sleeved cards in any way, shape, or form. Again, I know that's not their problem. You know, the game creator doesn't have any, any obligation to do such a thing, but... 
it always struck me as odd when you're creating, you know, a, a, whatever you want to call it, a designer game, a boutique, you know, boutique game, whatever you want to call it, a game for, you know, this isn't going to wind up in Target, okay? It just always struck me as a little odd that they don't take sleevers into consideration. It just it just seems to me that there there must be, you know, I must just be completely wrong, and there's less overlap uh, you know, in that Venn diagram in those circles than I, than I assumed that there would be, I guess. And not everybody is a, uh, a chronic sleever. So, of course, the first card I have here has green all over it. So looking at it on the green screen, it's not going to look fantastic. But that is Acid Pool, Armored Guardians. These cards actually feel quite nice. Like they're almost slippery, like satin. <laughs> Bat Swarm. Bull mech. The art in this is really good. This looks this this does does look better. There's also a Steam like like a PC version of this game. There is a, a a version of this game on Steam. Apparently, I have it. I don't believe I've ever actually tried to play it. I'll have to give that a try. But my feeling is is I'm not going to care because if I can't read the rule book and then manipulate the pieces by myself, I'm not going to be too too into it. A gelatinous cube. You gotta have that in your dungeon crawls, as well as gremlins, hallowed ground, haunted hall, lake of fire, right? Right? Maze. We do a lot of the floors lava in this house, so that's pretty fun to me. Mosaic floor, a mummy. Look at all these cards. Ah, man. See, and it's a bummer because this insert actually looks fantastic if you don't sleeve. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just just toss it here. Skeleton archers, spiders, webs, stone door, swinging blades. Another dungeon staple, right? I I love that kind of just you know just just standard run of the mill stuff. To me, that is how it all should be. A trapped door, a trapped chest, a trapped demon. What is that? Oh, a treasure mimic. <laughs> you know what? I really okay. So I, I I have to say the art in this must be different because I'm convinced I've seen the art of this before. And while it was fine. It, it needed some work, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's, 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 that, that's like half the cards. Deal with the devil. Sacred temple. Here, we need to get this one up on the screen. The skeleton trader. Look at this guy. Uh, the spirit trader. The tickle gnome. You know what? I want nothing to do with that guy. Uh, look at this. The trapped spirit. The unholy altar. The wise man. Ah, this is fantastic. A locked door. A mimic. What was that? A, uh, oh, magic mouth. Necropolis. This is exactly what I want to find in a dungeon crawl, right? I want to find all the standard tropes. Give me the tropiest tropes you've got, and I'm in for it. I am I am here for it. I love this kind of stuff. So, uh, again, you know, they named their game Rogue Dungeon. It practically screams what I'm looking for. And the only reason, again, it was on my radar was I heard about it some time ago from the Dungeon Dive YouTube channel, and it just it just looked like right up my alley. So this, are these enemies here? What is this? And Oh, oh they're probably in alphabetical order or two. Uh, um, oh, oh no. Oh, these are classes, I think, right? Aristo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look, and on the back, so here's here's Barbarian on the back, male and female versions. That's that's awesome. Bard, right? I didn't do the Aristocrat. Uh, Crusader, Machinist, Miner, Monk, Ranger. I'm not going to flip over every card here. I feel like, you know, you just kind of need to see what it looks like. Rogue and the Sorceress. All right. And then, yeah, see, in my mind, this is what I thought I remember the dungeon being, is these cards right here. I wonder if this is like part of a campaign or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Again, I should have probably paid attention. Double-sided cards here. Different dungeon makeups. Ah. Oh, so anyway, there's quite a few of those as well. And, oh, and here we go. Here we go. Enemies. Cave Bear. Look at, oh, a lot of green on that one. It's it's like the yellow from the lighting. Giant wasps, a knoll, a goblin. This is awesome. I'm getting very excited to play this. This is exactly what I want to see. And I have no idea how the game plays, mind you. Scorpion, Shadow White. I mean, I appreciate, you know, a, a good uh, dungeon crawler that strikes out on its own and has its own identity and doesn't just say, I'm just going to use all the generic, you know, fantasy stuff. But you know what? There are people out there that absolutely love generic fantasy stuff, and I'm one of them. I, you know, I fall for it every time. To me, it's just fantastic. I love it. So, the, you know, the world has a place for both, and, you know, I'm a big fan of, 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 of just, you know, regular stuff sometimes. You just, you just want to have it, right? And constantly, if any of you have ever spent any amount of time on Reddit ever, there's always 
an ongoing thread in either the board game subreddit or in solo board gaming where somebody's asking about what what dungeon crawler to play and it's usually you know prefaced with like i can't spend a, you know over a hundred dollars or i can't spend five thousand dollars or i don't want to have 700 different giant boxes or i don't want to do a campaign game and you know I'm in that same boat. I keep looking around constantly, and lately it's been like the books. 2D6 Dungeon, D100 Dungeon, 4 Against Darkness. It has been the thing. But I think this might be something special right here, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to get into it. Look at it. Giant Cobra, Ghoul Harpy, Hellhound, Imp, mm, what does it say? Mech Soldier, this one, Rust Monster, all the stuff you expect. Air Elemental, Fire Spider. I got to get this one on the camera. Look at this. On the zoom in there. Look at that. You don't, want to, you don't want to go up against that thing. A giant. It's a great picture. They must have read on the art because these look fantastic. Here's Medusa. Here's a, a, a Medusa, a, a Minotaur, an Ogre, <laughs> a Stone Golem, Succubus, a Water Elemental, a Werewolf. This is awesome. All right, well, I'm so glad. Check out that Cyclops, man. Earth Elemental, Devil, Fire Elemental, Hydra. Look at this. The mummy is awesome looking. Yeah, these are all enemy cards, it looks like. Ogre Mage, a Soul Gazer. Ah. All right, so look at that. Vampires. So there's lots of stuff in here, too. Uh, fight and Kill. These cards are different now, if I know, right? So these all have like a red gem on the back. And these look like places. Demon Sanctuary, Catacombs, the Demon's Lair. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. They all have lots of text. Well, <laughs> I say lots of text and, you know, the all the rest have one line, it looks like. Okay. Well, oh, sorry for that. I was trying to keep the glare out of there. Okay. What else do we have? An encounter, 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 encounter. Draw one monster card and resolve combat. So all of these encounter cards, those are just the one-liner ones there. I see. Okay. A golem with ruby eyes, a guard barracks. This has everything that you would want. <laughs> just a just a dungeon. This is awesome. All right, so these must be items. Is this items and loot? These are different on the back here, right? So there's, there's it looks like people on the back of this one here. Those look like our people. I wonder if those are like skills or something. What? You did no research before you bought a game? Say it isn't so. Eh. <laughs> it happens. All right, what do we got here? So are these, I'm gonna just cut the deck here. Yeah, okay, so these are different. These must be, right, so this is must be every character. Oh, these are class abilities then, right? So there's backstab, dagger. Oh, and maybe their, their whole, like, here, you start with that. Sneak attack and evade and disarm traps. Right, so yeah, you can see that, that there's like a small grouping of cards for, for each character. Blood Rage, that's a good name, huh? Bloodlust. Cleaver, Relentless. All right, that was our, our ogre-looking dude and lady. It's both of them here. Oh, yeah, so this just must be all of our, 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 our goodies here. Battle Axe, Javelin, a Meaty Rib. I mean, you've got to have a Meaty Rib. i got to get this on the zoom camera there. Look at that. Meaty Rib, a Crossbow, Inspiration. That must be the Bard. Lockpick, Lullaby, the Loot of Soothing. I'm going to mix all these up, and it's going to create havoc. Havoc for me later today when I'm gonna sleeve these cards. The Merry Band, I love it. A, a pint of ale, right? <laughs> you gotta have it. Uh, the Hand of God, Blessed, Sword, Turn Undead. I feel like we've, we've gone into, oh yeah, see? These guys here, Is this, was that Crusader? The Gold Cup, a loaf of bread. You know what, and I love this. Just give me a shield and an ax and I'm a happy guy. That's what I want. Um, you could also go with a buzzsaw, which is pretty awesome. Mech suit, charge. Mechanical Falcon, check this thing out. Look at my god. Mechanical Scarab, all right. Uh, Overload, Tinker, Berserk, Forge Armor, Forge Weapons, Meditate, Zen Focus, Bow, Mithril Shirt, Speak to Animals, a Torch. I might have a little bit of PTSD from Zombie Side trying to find a torch. A bag of gold. And this, is this like generic stuff or are these still more guys? Some of this, uh, okay, so I think the, the character things end right here. Art of the Deal, Bribe a Monster, Rapier, Summon Traitor. Look at that. <laughs> it's just, it's snap your fingers. That's awesome. Bag of gold, breastplate, and cell sword. Oh, man. Okay, so these cards are different. They have, on the back of them, these must just be like generic items or something. They all have like a, uh, like a, like a dagger graphic on the background. Amulet of Blood. Unholy Grimoire. Uh, Boots of Burden. Breast... 
Breastplate of Decay, Crossbow of Chaos, Dagger of the Damned. You have to have good loot in a game, and here it is. Demon's Orb, Dispel Magic, Energy Core. Uh, you know what? And these are all, like, let's see, Holy Water, Pickaxe, Ring of Misfortune, Cursed Shield, Staff of Evil. Oh my god, another torch. Turn Undead. Oh, this is exciting because we still have this. <laughs> all right, so, so now these all have a hand on the back, so these must be just some kind of... Other item cards, a bag of gold, camping gear, like equipment maybe, camping gear, charmed cats, charmed cave bear, <gasps> a charmed cobra, a charmed dire wolf. I should put some of these up there so you can see those. A charmed monster, charmed rats, a charmed spider. How about a charmed wolf? <laughs> uh, crossbow, dagger, dwarf. There's a dwarf in here. You can, you can have yourself a dwarf. Strength is at least five for ability checks. Discard to block any damage. Energy core. Friendly spirit. The gem of seeing. Lilith herself makes an appearance. The necromancer's wand. A cell sword. A skeleton. A staff of striking. A sword. A uh, wise man. I missed one in there too. Tor maybe? Uh, okay. So that's it. Wow. All right. There's a lot of cards in here, which is going to take quite a few sleeves. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, I imagine Board Game Geek is probably already all over this. Adam over there does, does God's work when it comes to sleeves. Uh, I used to joke and call the geek list for the, the sleeves, the, the, the Holy Bible, the, the sleeving Holy Bible. Uh, but now it's just part of the website. You click on sleeve it on the website. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if it's even there. Uh, it is not. It'll show up on this line right here. It'll say sleeve it. So I know on the Kickstarter page, which I don't have available right now, uh, they did show um, how many sleeves they used for all of this. And I do believe on the back of the box it says 208 loot cards, 94 room cards, 56 monster cards. It doesn't tell you what size they are, though. But I do remember seeing an update. Like, it's it's fairly recent in Kickstarter where they showed exactly how many sleeves they had to buy. Animate, dead. And so all of these just have... Oh, I lied to you. Let's see. There are more characters in here. Here's... Hunk of cheese, lockpick, rope, animate dead. This must be, oh, this is all sorceress, right? Because see, that's the sorceress card there, the sorcerer. Fireball, lightning, magic staff. Yeah, these are all the same. Luck, shield, and teleport spells, it looks like. All right. Have to have all that. Now, I, now I've now i really m messed up my piles here. Okay, and so this just has like a treasure chest on the back, this pile of cards here. So this is... There's a shield. I like a shield. A diamond, a gold cup, a jade idol, a pearl necklace, a silver coffer, boots of agility, boots, breastplate of vitality, breastplate, breastplate, gauntlets of strength. Just plain gauntlets. So you've got you've got an awful lot of stuff here. Helm of intellect, a helmet, helmet, lucky shield, and just another plain shield. Looks like some spells coming up here too. Dispel magic, fireball. So here, I don't know if they show up well enough. Yeah, dispel magic. The artwork in this is pretty good. I gotta say, I really like it. I do not know, that one's mostly green. Uh, I do not know if they've updated the, the digital version or not. I should check it out. I do have it on Steam, but... Um, I didn't didn't play it because I didn't just like sit and read the rule book. Wait, these are all spells. Speed, teleport, transmute, rock to mud, turn undead. And then here are these are all purple. I don't they're, they're sort of color coded, so I'm not sure what the difference is here. Maybe some of these are uh, weapons specific, like this purple battle axe, book of spells, crossbow. Look at that flail. That's awesome. A flame whip. Okay, so it keeps getting better. A flintlock pistol and better. A gauntlet of power. Where's Thanos when you need him, right? Uh, yeah, look at that. Horn of Blasting, Javelin, Wand of Lightning. There's potions in here as well. Potion of Agility. Potion of Healing. Healing, healing, healing. There better be a lot of that because I'm going to get murdered in this game. Intellect. Luck. Strength. Vitality. That one might not show up so well. Vitality. Uh, and then these are amulets? No, these are different. Oh, camping gear, camping gear. Amulet of Protection. All sorts of amazing stuff in this. I can't wait. Boy, does this look <laughs> like exactly the game that I am looking for. So I'm super pumped to check this out. This is Rogue Dungeon. And let's see here. This is by Cerberus Gate Games. I didn't pull up their website, but I believe the website, I think, is roguedungeongame.com, I think think. So if you wanted to go check out any more information there, yeah, ro uh, roguedungeongame.com. Let's see if we can pull that up, see if it loads. There we go. There it is. So if you want to check out more of Rogue Dungeon, there it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.